Thanks Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. Hi, I'm Danielle. I do too much. I like hair, talking, cosplay, music, art, and stuff. Hello and welcome to Star Hubby. I'm Danielle, your resident weirdo. Welcome to the weirdness. If you're new to the channel, it's Saturday where I upload Star Puppy vs. Something Saturdays, which is me versus my hair in some way. I upload hair content like this every Saturday at 2 p.m. Subscribe. Y'all, uh, uh, y'all remember that one time? It's my birthday and I'll cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. Pisces if I want to. Yeah, me too. <laughs> my greatest enemies in the natural hair realm in terms of styling are the Bantu Knot Out and the Twist Out. I've already defeated the Twist Out. You know what it is? You know what it really is? I want revenge. I want revenge. I want the revenge. Yo quiero venganza. Today's victory, I'm putting it out into the atmosphere, starts with a bomb wash day. So you've heard about them and I tested them on my African American hair and it worked. So Function of Beauty specializes in making specialty hair care products. It's really easy, it starts with a two minute quiz. You outline your hair type, hair goals, and personalized preferences. Then you choose your color and fragrance. I chose mint and turquoise for mine for Function of Star Puppy. The name of the scent I chose is Perfection. Function of Beauty has no parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free, and they give you stickers. Stickers. My formula had no silicones because that's available, and I like that. So my hair goals are the same as they've always been, basically to strengthen, lengthen, curl define, moisturize, deep condition. I would use these in conjunction with heavier stylers afterwards. It was really nice to find that a light consistency could work for me. So if you're interested in Function of Beauty, which I hope you are, follow the link in the description to get 20% off your first order. Thanks. And let's get down to this wash day. Where did all this hair come from? Okay, so, um, <laughs> whose hair is this? <laughs> so like, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. I don't wanna do the Bantu knot out now. I don't wanna do the Bantu knot out. I wanna have a fluffy, coily, nimbus, cosmic cloud on my head. Look at that 4C! Baby! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the Bantu knot out now. But you have to promise me in this moment that you'll like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell for post notifications. Say something nice about yourself. You twisted my arm. Fine, I'll do it. So here's how it's gonna go. <laughs> I even got the outfit from last time, but that's not what we're wearing today. Don't look at my shoulder. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go sexy by sexy. I'm going for volume, obviously. <laughs> we will be victorious. We will be victorious. Victory is coming for all of us. Look at us. Victors.
can we just talk about how I swear I have hair? But look at this. Look at this. This, it looks like it's so tight. It's not even tight. This is what I'm talking about with fine hair. This, oh my gosh. This looks painful to me, and I'm me, and it's not painful. I guess I'm just gonna go under the dryer. And I'll see you back. And transition. It has been so many hours. me right now. <laughs> we did it. I styled it so I don't look like a little old lady now. So that's good. So I think it's safe to say vengeance is mine. But I have some final thoughts on this. Ugh. First of all, I think that this jacket is really hot. It's still summertime now. I think vengeance has been exacted. Vengeance is mine. That's cute. That's cute! But that's the thing. I only wanted to do this style out of a vengeful spirit. <laughs> I don't really crave this style as much as I used to. I think that's why it turned out really well. I didn't really put that much pressure on myself. Yeah, it's for a video, but if it didn't work out, I mean, that's just as relatable, don't you think? Hello, editing Danielle here. I've left out one thing that I really want to say, especially since now, I'm just looking at the footage as like a third party. Okay, so this style to me is overrated. Like I've finally gotten to the point in my life and in my hair journey where I think that this style is too much work for not enough reward. I don't even really like it that much. Ooh. <laughs> and honestly, honestly, let's just be honest. This is like cute. I don't like spending three days on cute. You know what I mean? I think what we all want for me, including me at the beginning of this video or what I thought I wanted was that super like barrel curl, um, like that perfect Shirley Temple all over the head, like perfect spiral curl pattern. And do you see how much effort I put into this? Granted, I rushed the takedown, the sun was setting and I panicked. I own that. <laughs> but like, but if it takes even more effort than this to get that, I don't even want it. I don't even want it. I'm really taking this Bantu knot out down from the from the pedestal I put it on. I used to think that this style was just the epitome of the most beautiful natural hairstyle you can possibly have. This whole process showed me something about where I am and I, as editing Danielle, I'm going to give it back over to filming Danielle because I think she put it quite eloquently. I totally won with this Bantu knot out. I still just want my fro. That's a really good feeling to have. And I'll see you next Saturday. I upload at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, lots of hair content like this. And on Tuesdays, I do something, but you won't know unless you subscribe. This has been me, Danielle, your resident weirdo star puppy, signing out, say it with me now, star puppy. Away!
Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed the video.